All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I was going to ask you, let's just let's just actually do a couple things. Let's go ahead and write this in component form, and then let's go ahead and um, identify the magnitude. Okay. Well, first of all, I, for me, it's I have to visualize this. Now, remember, component form. We talked about component form. We know as over here always starts at the origin zero. Well, if I was going to plot this point, negative 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or so over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Does everybody agree with me that plotting of my graph, plotting of my coordinates? Does everybody agree with me? Yes? OK. Um, but this, if you guys remember, if we want to find the magnitude and we want to find the component form, well, just as it is, we could say that's x1, that's y1, that is x2, y2. We could figure out the magnitude, right? Correct? Or we could just figure out what the component form is, and it would just make it a little bit easier. So if I was going to find the component form, again, that is going to be x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1. So to find the component form, I'm going to do x2 minus x1. So that's going to be 5 minus negative 1 comma 6 minus 4. So therefore, I get my component form is 6 comma 2. Would everybody agree with me? All right, so let's go ahead and graph 6 comma 2 and see what this graph looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two. OK, first of all, by writing this in component form, does that graph look like it has the same magnitude as the my black graph? Does it look like it's kind of in the same directed angle, right? If they were to extend into infinity, they would be parallel to each other. They have about the same slope, right? So now, can you f tell me what the direction is of this, of this black vector? Can you tell me what the direction is? Well, yeah, but do, do you know like, how many degrees this is rotated at all? No. Could we figure out how many degrees this is going to be rotated? Well, at least, I guess, I mean, at least now we have a bearing, right? We know it, start, it starts at the origin. And we, can, we have enough math understanding that. We'll, and I'll show you how to figure this out. But we'll be able to figure out the direction. So that's why component form is helpful. Component form, yes, of an angle, we can still find the magnitude. Magnitude is not a problem. But when we start talking about the direction of a vector, we need to make sure we have it in our component form. Because if it's just out there in space, it's very difficult to be able to determine what exactly the, the direction is going to be. Yes? So component formula is always going to have a start with 0. Correct. Yep. So let's go ahead and figure out the magnitude. So my magnitude is going to be the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared, where, right? Remember v1 and v2? So therefore, all I'm simply going to do is take the square root. I have 36 plus 4. That equals the square root of 40, which equals 2 radical 10. So my magnitude is going to be 2 radical 10. That's it. Done. OK. So we covered magnitude. Magnitude, you do not 